You can just tell when something's quality. The boots are so cute here, babe. Literally, the shape, the arms. That's incredible. Literally exactly what I was looking for. She was like, McKenna, that is such a good find. My mom will absolutely die. It was literally perfect. I'm obsessed with this. You'll find me here. today it's kind of early i haven't talked yet today uh, we're going to santa monica airport flea and there's another one in topanga that we may also go to so two things today up early got my video live if you haven't checked it out go watch it part one of making over this front room i have a lot of ideas i just hope they come together as well as they look in my head <laughs> do you know what i mean so Making me a water. I've been doing so, since I got this, I've been drinking so much more water. Two of these a day at least. So it feels like it's gonna be cold and super overcast. So it's, it is a little chilly, but enjoying it while it lasts because summer is upon us and it will be pretty hot very soon. So we're, we're enjoying the weather. So I'm just looking for some smaller decor items. Another coffee table, you know, some things. I don't wanna miss a Sunday opportunity to go to the flea market, so. We're gonna go see what we can find. I'm gonna see if I have a ball cap to wear so I can actually see what I'm looking at. And um, so we're fine. Something like that would fit in the car? Oh, no, not like that. Inside? You don't think? They would lay flat, obviously. Do you know how expensive they are? No. The ones I was looking at online are like 4000 a piece. You can sit there, no problem. The same. I can sit in it? <laughs> don't worry. It's solid wood. It's a red wood. You can keep it outside. Red only, wood? Yeah. Only you have to do is like uh, you need more protection. You can put the shellac on top of them. The top of that is, yeah. But it's very comfortable. How much are you asking for them? I asked you for both. Five hundred dollars. Five for both. Each one costs. Seven hundred dollars each. You can. <laughs> one has arms and one doesn't. Yeah, that's <laughs> the difference. But must be they 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 do it like this because look they don't have nothing to make like a hole or something like that. yeah they didn't actually plan on it being there you guys like you don't even do you remember i was just telling you guys that i was looking for pool loungers literally the shape the arms one of them has arms one doesn't literally exactly what i was looking for 425 for both such a deal. I'm so, we, we don't know how we're gonna get them home, but we're gonna figure it out. Love this bike, I need a cute bike like this. Dogs can come to the 
this market. They are so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's sleepy. This trunk is awesome. This trunk is dope. Hi. I was asking 150 earlier, but I'll take a hundred now. 100? I don't want to take it home. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's too heavy. Romeo found the best stuff. I found the best finds. He's like, what is happening? I'm in love with this market. It's so small. My mom will absolutely die. Look at that. Look at Bentley. 125? Yeah. You don't have the rest of it, huh? The other no, side? No. It'd be more if I had the whole I bet. <laughs> yeah. We have an original one on our door. Hey, yeah, hey, it's big. not getting above a certain like temperature outside so it's like cold i changed i put up like a sweater and layers and chunky socks i am still like shook that we found loungers i was just telling you guys that i was like looking online for like a month for loungers and they were so expensive and i did see like a little placard like a little um, label underneath one of them um, so when we bring them to the back I'm going to see what the name of them is and we can do a little research and see how what those are made out of he said red oak but I'm pretty sure it's it is teak um, I don't think he, he but we will we will find out there was another market today it was called the Topanga market Topanga vintage market I was hoping we would go early enough to Santa Monica and then have enough time to hit both of them uh, but we did not because that one I think closed at like two and we had such a good haul and such a good time at the uh, Santa Monica one that it was like totally fine uh, so we'll have to try out the Topanga one we're just kind of enjoying discovering new markets to go to even though it's a lot of the same vendors well I, I mean not all the same vendors but I definitely saw some people and some things that I had seen just last weekend at Long Beach. I'm freezing these bananas because they're getting really ripe. Uh, so we can put them in our smoothies. Romeo and I have do been doing our like ginger, lemon shot in the mornings and we've been doing smoothies. We didn't today just because we were out of the house, but we've been doing really good with just um, having some really good meals here at home. And we also have um, a HelloFresh box. So I'm gonna make a HelloFresh for us for a late lunch. We had a breakfast burrito at the at the market, which was really good. It was kind of pricey, but it was really good. We're gonna make these roasted garlic and zucchini flatbreads. A big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Do I, do I need to say more? It's convenient. There's no food waste. It's delivered directly to my door. I don't have to go grocery shopping. You know, so many good things about them. HelloFresh has 40 different meals to pick from every week. So you can always find something that you're gonna love or we love to try new things so that we don't get in a recipe rut. And it's summertime. So the last thing that we wanna worry about is what to eat for dinner. I want easy, yummy, even quick meals to make ready to go in the fridge. And we love their fit and wholesome or calorie smart recipes, but they also have new vegan recipes and pescatarian to really fit any lifestyle. They even have breakfast, desserts, and sides that you can add into your box every week. HelloFresh's seasonal ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and travel from the farm to doorstep in less than seven days. And did I mention that I don't have to go to the grocery store? And it's cheaper than grocery shopping and takeout. We highly, highly recommend and we love HelloFresh in our house. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. This looks so good. If 
you know anything about me, I'm a sucker for Italian food. Pizza and pasta is just like my jam. I need to try. Mm. I should have put a lower in the broiler because I think the top was getting really crispy, but the bottom, you know, wasn't getting hot enough. Oh my gosh, so good. Use McKenna 16 for 16 free meals and free shipping on your next order um, by going to HelloFresh.com. This is, these are so good. Get these. I love, actually, I've had a couple of their flatbreads and they're really good. We are going to eat this and then Romeo, <laughs> Romeo's been, Romeo's taking a nap, um, but I'm going to plate his and keep it warm. And then we'll put the new pool loungers uh, in the back and we'll do some research on them. I'd comment, guess right now how much you think they would be. The ones I was looking at were like, 2000 and above a piece now i didn't do i was i searched a lot i feel like pool loungers like a variety of them are harder to find like the websites or maybe they're just that expensive isn't that kind of crazy though that it would be that expensive but comment down below right now how much you think that these are going to be and we'll do some research i'll read on the back of them what the name of them was okay we are going to move the pool loungers back here this is like the spot that I see for them. I just see it. It's, they're gonna, I can't believe it. I can't wait to look them up too. They're in the front. Okay, the You're joking. That's incredible. Okay, wait, wait. First of all, one has arms, one does not. But I did look at how they were made and they're actually bolted, not on the outside, but the inside. So like you would never know, like these don't have any you know holes on the outside. Which is nice, but I mean, maybe they once had arms. I don't know, because the bolts are definitely on the inside. Could have had arms at one time, but they're both not here, obviously. There's a marking. I saw one of them with a marking. Let's see. Where did it go? I swear I saw a marking. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Look right there. Engraved. Kinsley? Is that Kinsley? Wait, 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 wait. Kingsley Bait. Genuine teak furniture, Manassas, Virginia. Okay, I knew it. Okay, so he was like, oh, they're redwood. And I was like, I don't really think these are redwood because they're way too gold, but whatever, okay. He said they're redwood. You can put them outside, but if it's not covered, you could like shellac them. And I was like, okay, I got shellac already. I could do that. Um, so I was like thinking all of these things, but just for the price, I definitely wanted teak out here because teak is naturally um, just great for outdoors. The best wood you can have outdoors. It's naturally going to patina, look like a gray patina over time. So you see how like rich these look now. The longer they're outside and exposed to water and the elements, they're gonna get grayer and grayer, more silver, like a silver patina. Um, but then you put oil on them. Oh, the sprinklers are turning on. You put oil on them and then they come back to life, right? Um, so these are teak. Let me go get my phone. Let's look them up. Okay, like, first of all, Kingsley, Kinsley, this is like fake. Just saying. Okay, Kin Kinsley, Kingsley, King Bait Wood Loungers. There they are. Nantucket Chase Lounge. That's them. I knew these were quality. $1,465 a piece. I got them for, what well, we got both for $4.25. Okay, so story time. He said, I was like, oh, what do you want for them? Whatever, he said, 500. If you look them up online, blah, 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 they're, they're like a lot, like this lounge lounges. And I was like, I actually already knew that. And I was like, even for like 500, I was like, wow. They do have like, I need to tighten the bolts. You see I'm mo moving them. I need to tighten the bolts, which I can do. Uh, there's some scratches and scuffs on them, which I can fix. There's no cushions. So I was like, maybe they had cushions at one point. Who knows? Like you can buy them with cushions. So he said 500, right? And I was like, oh, I'll think about them because honestly, I didn't think that they would fit in our car. I didn't know how we were gonna get them home, but I was like, this is insane. I could tell 
the quality of them, I could tell that they weren't like from, they weren't cheaply manufactured. Like I could tell, like the pieces here and the bolts and how the shape, like even this kind of like jut in right here, I could just, you can just tell when something's quality. Like how all the pieces go together, how they're mitered here. This shape here, those are all the things that I immediately saw. I was like, okay, whoa, whoa, wait. It's solid, I can just feel it. I love the little curve here. So at 500, I was like, that's really good. Okay, so we're at a flea market, right? So I we came back, I was like, let me think about it. So I brought Romeo back to like look at them because I was like, I don't know if they're gonna fit the car. But I was like, we have to, we have to have them. We have to take them home. I walk, I was like, what's your best price on them? That's all I said. What because that's the only thing I can really do when I haggle. I'm like, what's your best price? He stops looking at me turns to Romeo and says, it's up to you, my friend. Like, what do you want, you know, to, what do you want to offer balls in your court? My reaction, I asked him the question. He looked at Romeo like he was in charge of, I don't know why, like I, I asked him. I put my hand, <laughs> Romeo said right here, I was like, don't look at him. I was like, balls in my court. I said, what's your best price? And he was like, uncomfortable. I was like, what? Excuse me? I was horrified. I could not believe he did that in front of me. Like, the disrespect. Okay. And then I was like, oh, now we're haggling. Because that's not, that's not okay. Just to, to like, to just, I asked him a question and just to, con like, dismiss me and, like, think that Romeo was going to be the one that was, what, with the money and was gonna, I don't know. But it wasn't, it was so disrespectful. So I was like, no, you talk to me. And he was like, what do you, well, what do you want them for? And I said, four, 400. And he said, no. And he had, went into, you know, you go into like the spiel about, I don't know what he was talking about. Something about a friend and taking his stuff over here and doing him a favor. I was like, I don't, that doesn't mean anything to me. He was like, 450. And I was like, four. <laughs> Finally, we got to 425. And I told him about it. I was like, you totally screwed yourself when you thought, he was the one that was going to be paying for these. And he was the one that was in charge. I'm sorry, that's not nice. He was a very nice man. He just, you know, that way of like thinking like that the woman isn't in charge or the woman can't speak for herself or the woman is it like, I asked the question, it wasn't Romeo asking the question, you know, like that was just really like not cool. He was very nice though, him and his wife were both very nice. Um, and we got the chairs, which was like a total win. So anyways, let's make sure that they are teak. Maybe it was just like the company makes teak, some teak furniture. Okay, you can make cushions. Ooh, they have lots of like fabrics. So I just took the cushions off. Like I said, no thanks. It minus 400 from the, from, they definitely had cushions at one time. Or maybe, maybe they did just what I did and they ordered them without. So now they're just the base frame like this is a thousand sixty five. I can maybe could order cushions separately or we can make them. Maybe we could DIY them. Select optional arms. <gasps> you can buy the arms. Wait, could I get arm? It would be one hundred and eighty dollars to add arms. Maybe they sell the arms separately. I love the arms. I think the arms are so special. I feel like just the style like look at that that's what i wanted i wanted arms and wheels it was literally perfect i could order arms for that one because we're still coming out ahead um select optional tray add a sliding tray i don't know what that is oh it's on the side do you have a tray i don't think these have a tray no, there's no tray. Okay, no tray. No thanks on the tray. Select welt. Oh, okay. So it's the welt is probably for the cushions. Oh welt. And then you can get a select protective cover for hundred and fifty dollars. So we don't have that. Obviously, that's not part of this. They have other things. They have the Nantucket coffee table, the ottoman, the settee, the side. Oh, the side table. How much is something like this? Oh my gosh, $395, no, we'll, we'll find something. But that is like a really pretty little side table. But we can find something that's different. I don't like to go like too matchy-matchy. 
Like these actually look great with the color of the bottom of those chairs over there. So they're like complementing, but different. You know, it's, it's not like the whole collection. Like I wouldn't buy, wouldn't go to this website and buy the whole Nantucket collection. I like when things are more collected and more uh, complementing than the same thing. So are you teak? Teak! They're not redwood, like you said, they're, they're teak. This is incredible. Relax and enjoy your outdoor leisure hours with the Kingsley Bait Nantucket Chase Lounge. This stylish, clean cut Chase Lounge will look at home in any spot in your yard. You can move this Chase with ease thanks to the attractive wood wheels at the rear legs. Add optional armrests and a sliding tray available separately for even more comfort options. And optional seat cushions is also available in 40 colors. So they introduced this collection in 2017. Teak furniture requires little if any maintenance and can be left outdoors year round to weather naturally. While the rate of weather varies depending on climate, moisture, and exposure to sun, your furniture will eventually acquire a beautiful silver gray patina, which we said, we knew that. As the surface pigments begin to fade naturally within nine months, so within a season, they're gonna, they're gonna silver. We recommend that you allow your furniture to rather naturally this way and simply clean it thoroughly once or twice a year with soap and water. I'm obsessed with this. I'm unwell. You'll find me here all summer. Don't mind me. I love this. I have so many ideas for this outdoor space. I want to break up all the brick. I feel like it's too brick heavy out here. I wanna make some areas more designed and actually put some pet turf because I know Kinsley would love that. Obviously we wouldn't do real grass and like break up the brick in any way, but like just to lay it on top so that it's we can still hose it off. She would love it. I feel like it would break up the brick a lot. Like I'm, I'm feeling like over on this area, this is where I kinda of wanna do some turf. And I wanna rearrange all of the pots. Now, they kinda of just lined this back wall with the big terracotta pots, which I do love. These are super expensive. And we have the beautiful geraniums in them. And also they planted in all the big pots, they planted lemon trees. So these are also all lemon trees here. And they're already starting to like um, fruit out. And that big one right there is a lemon tree, one over there. So I need to rearrange these um in their perfect place i want to do some turf i've even contemplated like changing the color of this to not white but because this is our um informal living where we spend the most time if i darken them like this inspiration picture and put like darker walls out here although i like the contrast to the brick uh, it won't bounce as much light so i don't want to do that i'd love to grow some roses or something of some sort on the lattice work around the pool shed i'd like to kind of cover that completely although it does not look that bad but i think it could be um really pretty like i think we could do something to it we obviously have those two chairs that are new we have that canopy from our apartment which worked perfectly with those i love that i'm wondering if we should get another sun um like canopy over here and we have like just like fun fun things to do out here we need to find like a little center table we need to diy some cushions now also i, I need to do a little bit of research um because i'd like to get out that you see the scratches and i think that that's just from them being like sold at a flea market or maybe even us coming home like probably made a ding or two so we can maybe sand it i need to do some research and maybe oil teak oil i'm also wondering if somewhere i'd love to have like a fire element out here like a little fire pit of some sort um something i feel like there's a lot we could do a lot is already like perfect out here and then there's a lot we can like make it a really really cool oasis <sighs> i am obsessed can you believe it these would have been how much such a great day i have to show you what else we found too but this was like by far the most exciting thing oh my god they're so good they are so good so stay tuned because i do want to work on after we finish the front room in the house i want to work on 
at this area around the pool because I know we're gonna be spending so much time out here during summer that I really wanna work on it. Oh, I locked myself out. I went, I came through this way. I have to send a picture to my mom, hold on. She was like, McKenna, that is such a good find. I also got a few things for the pool. My pool guy was going to text me um, his advice about a kind of like cleaner, bottom cleaner for the pool because we have so many uh, trees and things that he comes one day, he comes once a week, but he comes one day and then the next day there's leaves all in the pool and stuff. So we ordered a new net because ours broke. And then I didn't hear from him, but I saw this one. This is like a full vacuum. Now it had really great reviews. I don't know. I didn't want something that I didn't want something like permanently stay in the pool because I like don't like the way that it looks. But I figured like something like this that we could like suck out anything that's fallen to the bottom and and um, get rid of it kind of thing would work. So it had good reviews and I had a gift card to Amazon, so I ordered this. <laughs> it's a called a Pool Blaster Max new net. And it did not come with the stick. Okay, I need to order the stick part, but I ordered this. Some more things I got, I got this art. I thought it was precious. Um, her best price was 50, so I got it for $50. It's signed, it's really pretty. Is it an iconograph? Kinda looks like an iconograph, but I don't think it is. An original etching, maybe it is an original etching by Edward Cherry, signed artist's proof. Maybe, maybe not. I thought that was beautiful. Sometimes I like to have more subdued pieces of art to pair and, and mix in with a, in a gallery wall with some more ornate gold ones, you know? And especially like, this is a great size. I got this Yorkie <laughs> for my mom. I already showed her, I FaceTimed her. She loves it. I thought it looked like Bentley cause he's darker in color and it's, it has Yorkshire Terrier written on it. Uh, she'll have to clean it up a little bit. It says, this is a genuine copper plate, hand printed etching. Both of these are etching. I got a lot of etching work, but I thought that was so precious. One more thing that we actually put in the garage for now until I clean it up. Look at this trunk. She did not want to bring it home. She was like, I'll give you a good price on it. I got it for $100. It's from the 19th century. Um, this company, H.C. Faber and Son Company, started making trunks um, for, uh, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. They started making trunks in the late, the late 1880s um, for salesmen. And I just thought it was too cool. Like all the original hardware, everything. It says Noble F. Martin, Utica, New York. Look at the inside but it's so cool. I need to clean it up. She's definitely old. I just thought how neat. The color, everything was so cool. Put her in a very special place. Okay, I messed up. I feel like I just, it was, it was the one thing, the roof line was the one thing I felt like I was so amateur on. And what happened is I designed the interior floor plan for the addition. And in my head, the roof line would just follow what was existing from the original house. And I didn't take into consideration how the inside floor plan affects the outside look. The surround sound in my house, I would oh. not do again because- Not that one or just one well, in general? Things are moving so fast. By the time you- Oh, technology. Technology, yeah. by the time you- in, uh, plan your surround sound and your oh that's so true oh my gosh by the time you plan it and get it in your house it's obsolete oh my gosh yeah you think it's, about all these smart homes they're not smart after like no a year my first apartment in california it was all ikea <laughs> i mean of course um and well we did it in a day we did do it in a day <laughs> and we needed something to sleep on so we went and we picked everything from ikea and the color palette was red black and white and I had like a zebra picture and all the accents oh, were forgot. red. I had forgotten. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you know how much I hated the red? 